Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video, which is all about the Roja Roja uh, range of perfumes. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes. Do subscribe if you're not already. I'd love to have you here and let me know your requests for different videos. I do read all your comments and I do try and do as many of the perfume requests as you can, different videos, just like this was a request. I have actually been in touch with Roja. I have actually been in touch with the brand before this video and they've kindly sent me loads and loads of different um, treble size to try and um, one full size, which I'll show you in a minute. But before we get into that, then let's talk about the brand. You might not be familiar with it. So the brand is created by Roja Dove, um, Roja Dove. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, I'm so sorry. Who is a British perfumer. They use very high quality ingredients and this is only sold in their um, store in central London in a very like beautiful area and in the top department stores like Harrods, Selfridges in London. So very, very exclusive. I will leave the links to where you can get this down below because you can get this worldwide um, online. So I'll leave those links down below as always, guys. So some of their bottles have Swarovski crystals on and um, they use 24 karat gold um, on the bottle lids uh, coating and you know just feeling this perfume it's very very heavy it feels very expensive the lid is so heavy like it's got a real weight to it you can just tell without even smelling it that this is a high-end expensive perfume just because of everything about the bottle the presentation I had to show you this guys this is how it comes um, I believe these are handmade like silk packaging so this is very very luxurious exclusive and they are all made in England as well so I'm gonna start with this one that I have the full size in now this is called elixir and this is the elixir essence pour femme now this came out in 2019 it's one of their newest releases um, and you, as you can see it has a slightly pink liquid and um, um, gold features on it. I've been wearing this all day and I have to say it is very very pretty and delicate. It doesn't have lily in it but for some reason I get a kind of lily vibe from it. It does have rose heliotrope so it has some very delicate floral notes but it also has raspberry, peach and it's also very musky. Um, I have found it of all of these that I've tried, probably the lightest and the prettiest. And um, I think in that sense, it's quite modern. This would be lovely for sort of spring or hot weather, daytime, just very um, classy, clean, feminine smell. It works really well with the sort of skin scent that you have. So I, I, it really sort of mixes in and I'm finding a little bit of sweetness coming through, but it's not a fruity sweetness. I think it must be that peach and the heliotrope and the iris, um, but it's very, very um, clean, pretty, but at this and all of the perfumes, they, you can tell that they're high quality. They smell expensive, if that makes sense. So these are the Discovery Atomizers. They are, how many mils are these? 7.5 mil or 0.25 fluid ounces. And they come in these really lovely presentation boxes. So first I'm gonna start with Enigma. This again has peach, heliotrope and rose in, very similar to the Elixir, but I found this to be much heavier. It has Oris root in, which really is coming through and ylang ylang. So this feels much more heavier, a bit more powdery, definitely not as subtle as the Elixir. It also has a little bit of ambergris in, a very expensive ingredient, and I think I'm getting that as well. But I found this um, to wear, yeah, much stronger than the original and probably sort of in the middle range in terms of projection and strength compared to these because some of these are really heavy. So next we have Enigma Oud. This um, feels like a stronger version of Enigma. Um, there is a sweet peach in here, but it's very um, oriental peach, very oriental rose. I get the musk and this has oud in it as well, which means it comes through. So this feels more oriental, it feels more Arabian, um, it feels a bit more 
yeah, Udi, I guess, as you'd expect from the name, than the original, so a bit stronger. So next we have Enslaved, and gosh, this one is heavy. It reminds me a bit of Coco Chanel, mixed with, I don't know, like white diamonds or something. Like, it's really strong, very, very powdery, and very, very ambery. The name Enslaved, and you know, the fact that the liquid is so dark really indicates that this is heavy. Do you remember, um, you might recognize uh, Madame Rocher's bit like that? That. like this is super strong and definitely to me this smells like something that is a more traditional scent that you perhaps would have found coming out in the 80s or 70s rather than the kind of fragrances that come out now um, so if you like those more traditional scents like Coco Chanel then give Enslaved a try. So next we have Danger, um, these are all have such cool names this is much more subtle. It reminds me, I think it reminds me a bit of Jean Patu Joy. So quite a classy jasmine. So kind of like a classy gardenia ylang ylang with woodiness, powderiness, or maybe it reminds me of Le de Tom. It has cloves in and orris root. Um, quite complex. It's difficult to separate any particular fragrance note, but very, again, a classic, classy pretty floral but quite a strong deep floral. Speaking of floral we have Scandal, not to be confused with Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal. This is the most floral in the range and it's almost a bit sweet floral. As this settled on my skin it started becoming sweeter and sweeter but very very floral. So white floral, jasmine, gardenia, tuberose, freezer, orange blossom, it's like every white floral you can think of, it's all in here. Very, very floral, very much like Joy from Jean Patou. Very, 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 very floral. <laughs> Next we have Reckless, which is really interesting smell. Again, you get quite a lot of jasmine and ylang ylang, seems to be a theme here. But it really is quite, um, I think it's called ozone-y, so it smells like airy, like, like the smell of air. And mixed with some citrus and some peach, this, um, it, it is fresh, but it's not zesty fresh, it's, it's airy fresh. Um, and it does have a lot of other ingredients that came through in the dry down for me. Woody ingredients, greeny ingredients, animalistic ingredients. But initially it's very interesting and, and, and ozone-y. So if you like those type of ozone-y perfumes, this is definitely an interesting one to check out. Next we have Risqué. Now this is your Oak Moss Lovers perfume. Also Hyacinth and Rose. I um. It, this is a very strong hyacinth rose and oak moss, like really, really intense, a very, very heavy floral. You would only need like one spray of this. I just sprayed one spray and it was dominating over a lot of the other fragrances. So very, very heavy. Um, but if you love hyacinth and you love those floral vibes, then gosh, this is like supercharged hyacinth. And then lastly, I have here 51 Port Femme. This is back to those slightly more oriental vanillas. The Ylang Ylang is there as well. This was a bit more cashmere softer than some of them, sort of in that medium range in terms of strength and, um, and, pa and like power. It's not as strong as a lot of the others. A little bit of cinnamon in here, tuberose. So um, quite interesting, very much more daytime, whereas some of these I think would be like a heavy nighttime perfume. Um, this quite interesting, classy, and a little yeah a bit more on the modern side so that's it guys those are all um the ones that i have from the firm collection there are a few others i think that i haven't been able to try but like i said the bottles are beautiful i do always look at them pick them up in the stores and i was really curious to actually try them all on my skin so that's been really interesting let me know what you think if you've had any of these if the video is helpful at all then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!